Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's just a mixture of different stars. I haven't got enough to do a full video on each star and I am coming to the end of my autumn content. I have still got my Come Decorate for Autumn with me and I've also got my autumn collection to film. But I just needed to wrap this up. Just this is my video to state I am not buying any more. That is it. For 2023, I am done. I have to be done. There's no way I can fit any more autumn pieces into my house. And I haven't even got the ones out of the cupboard. So this is it, guys. This is a bonus upload. And I am not doing any more autumn decor shopping. So, before we get into this video, I just want to say, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you have not seen all of my autumn content that I've been putting up the past few weeks, then when you watch this video, go over to them and just see exactly what I've picked up. And you will understand why I'm saying, finished, enough, no more. If you've been here from day one, I hope you are still enjoying my content. And I think you will be happy to know that I'm finishing. I'm not doing no more. But I just want to say I've absolutely loved bringing all of this autumn content. It's my favourite season. And then once I've done my come decorate with me and my pumpkin picking, then it's going on to Christmas, which I've already started Christmas decor shopping. I know. I can hear you. It's too early. It is too early and I don't like to mention Christmas too early, but it is in stores, guys. So let's just get into this video, my final autumn shopping haul. So in this video, I've been to TK Maxx, Wilco, Hobbycraft and Asda and I just picked a few bits up and I just need to show you them before I get them put on, put out. One of them's put on, put out. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is Asda. Now Asda have some amazing products in and you can't beat Asda's prices. So I picked up this pumpkin bedding. Now, I don't normally go as extreme as changing my bedding, but when I seen this, I couldn't leave it. It's got pumpkins all over it, ivy, and on the other side, it's got the ivy as well. Now, I bought this, actually my mum bought me this, but she bought it as well. So my mum paid £15 for the king size, and the double, which is what I've got, was £13. £13, that is an absolute bargain. If you go to B&M, you're looking for a double at at least £22, £24 for a double duvet. So for £13, I didn't think that was too bad. I thought it was an absolute steal, to be fair. So I picked this up. So you will see me put this on my bed when I decorate for autumn. And that video is coming very soon. And I just can't wait. I don't normally go as extreme as buying bedding, but I have this year. So that was my first thing that I wanted to show you. My second thing from Asda is this little Hey There pumpkin sign. Now this was £4. It's in the orange colour and it just says Hey There pumpkin with a pumpkin there. It's got a little maple leaf there which i think is quite cute that can be removed if you want it removed but i quite like it now i've seen this and it was while i was doing my shopping so i thought you know what i'm just going to get it i'm going to either put it on my windowsill in my kitchen i could put it by my chocolate display i could put it by my kettle i could put it on my shelves i could put it in here but I just thought for four pound that's coming home with me. Moving on to TK Maxx. Now 
I've said on a few occasions, I absolutely love TK Maxx for their candles, but I, I was looking for the little candles because on my coffee table, I do a nice display of just, I've got like a wooden tray and I think I got it from the range. I put acorns on there, pine cones. I put an autumnal display on there. I did say I wasn't saying autumnal anymore because someone had told me, but never mind. And I like to put a little candle on there. Now I have had a candle on there in previous years and it was bourbon something. And it smelled amazing, but I can't find it. So today when I went in, they had this caramel pumpkin. Now this was £3.99. I mean, I remember a couple of years back, this was £2.49, but everything's gone up and I'm sure I've already had this one. It smells absolutely gorgeous and it smells like something else. But when I went to my mum's today, I noticed on her coffee table, she's got the bigger one of this with the lid off. So I'm thinking, is that where I know this smell from? because she's got it on her coffee table, but she's got it in the larger one. It's Caramel Pumpkin. It's DW Home. You know I absolutely love DW Home, and I say it all the time. You don't need to light DW Home candles. And that's why I can smell it when I go into my mum's. So I just picked this up, £3.99, and it's just to sit on my display in my front room. Staying with TK Maxx. So I've been into home bargains because I was looking for the velvet, small velvet pumpkins and because I'm not prepared to wait, the lady said she didn't know when they were getting them back in. So I went to TK Maxx and I happened to find a bag of them. So in here you get orange pumpkins, green pumpkins, a grey pumpkin and a nice cream pumpkin. I'm going to get them out and show you. So you get two of the green ones, you get two of the cream ones. Now the ones in Home Bargains, because there was some out on display but she wouldn't sell me them, not that I wanted them anyway because they've been out. Um, the ones in Home Bargains I think they were £1.49 or £1.99 a bag but they felt as though they were polystyrene. These feel as though they've got like beads inside, so like a little bean bag, which they're much nicer. You get two orange ones, and you get two of the grey ones. Now, the only reason I've bought these is because if you've watched my range haul, you will know I picked up the pumpkin stack, the glass pumpkin stack. Now. My idea was I was going to fill that pumpkin jar with orange lint chocolates and once I've had a look at the jar again and put one box of lint chocolates in it's going to cost me a fortune and I just thought I'm not prepared to pay all of that money for chocolate to fill a pumpkin jar for autumn. So instead, I thought I would fill them with these felt pumpkins. And these weren't actually that bad, considering they were much better quality than the ones at Home Bargains. They were £10.99. So I'm quite happy with them. Because even the ones from Home Bargains, they were only small, which meant I would have needed a few bags. And if they're £2 each, five bags would have cost me the equivalent to what these have cost me. So... That was my last item from TK Maxx. I did say there wasn't much. It's only what I've picked up while I've been out and about. Um, everything else is... Everything that's new that I've bought is here in front of me, ready to put out. A lot of last year's stuff is still in the cupboard, but... We'll get onto that on a later video. I then went into Hobbycraft. Now, Hobbycraft's not usually the type of store that I go into, but I know loads of people do. And I went in and I noticed that they had these little jars, like poison jars or potion jars. 
This one says Witch's Brew on it. I got it because obviously it's white. It's got a little cork in. They've done these in all different colours and they've done square ones as well. Now it did pick up an orange glass one. And it said something fright or Halloween, something like that. And I walked all the way around with it. And then I thought, oh, it's more Halloween than autumn. And I put it back. But now I've been thinking I should have really picked it up because I could have put some hand gel in there or some hand soap or something for in the bathroom. So I may go back to Hobbycraft and pick up the orange. No, I said I wasn't, I wasn't buying no more. Um, I'm definitely not buying no more, so oh, it, is really, it is a good idea though, isn't it, getting a a portion bottle and putting hand soap in or hand cream or something. There's an idea for you guys if you want to put a little bit of Halloween or autumn into your bathroom or into your, into your kitchen, you could always put your washing up liquid in it. But I just picked this up just to go on my shelf. But the sticker I am going to remove because I just wanted a white bottle, really. I could just turn it round. I'm just going to put it on my shelf and style it up a little bit. Uh, maybe put some pampas in. But I just thought that would look really sweet on my shelves. But if you're looking for little things like this, go to Hobbycraft. They had these in all different colours. All different shapes and they were only two pound which is an absolute bargain I've said it before decorating your home doesn't have to be expensive you could go to Hobbycraft Poundland Poundland have some really good stuff in home bargains it doesn't have to cost a lot do you know what I would really love to go to inspirations for either autumn or Christmas I'd absolutely love that if you've never heard of Inspirations, it's like a wholesalers and autumn they have pumpkins, they have oh, they're just some amazing decor pieces. Christmas, I'd just love to go just to go and maybe see the trees, see how they're styling the trees. I would actually love to go to Inspirations, so I think that may be on my bucket list. That is definitely on my bucket list to go to Inspirations. I'm going to tick that off. Um, but yeah, I know there's a few YouTubers who have been to Inspirations and I'm quite jealous. But yeah, that's a, a place that I am going to think about going. Okay, so the next place that I went to was Wilco. Now, unfortunately, Wilco is going into administration and they've got some heavily discounted stock. When I went in, I was quite surprised that they had autumn decor in. Considering the closing down, they still had autumn pieces in. And I just thought maybe autumn pieces wouldn't have transitioned into Wilco. So it is such a shame. I love Wilco. Um, they do some amazing stuff. But I do feel sorry for all of the staff who are losing their jobs. And, you know, it is only four months till Christmas. And I just feel so sorry for the staff. But I did go in today and um, there wasn't much heavily discounted. It was more Christmas stuff uh, that was 50% off. But I did happen to pick up some lights. So I picked up some LED red mushroom cliff string lights, the 1.4 meters. The batteries are included. These were supposed to be £3 and I managed to get them for £1.50. So my mum absolutely loves mushrooms. Her kitchen is got toadstools and things like that. So I did buy my mum a pack of these. I am going to get them out and show you. I bought these just to maybe go in that glass pumpkin stack that I'm going to put them pumpkins in. Or I actually did get the acorn as well from the range. So I may put them in there. But they're just on a piece of jute and they've got little toadstools on them. I thought they were quite cute for autumn. Let me turn them on. Them. I just think they're really sweet and just put in a, in a vase or in a jar or something like that. I tell you where the best place for little lights like this is Poundland. At Christmas they do some gorgeous little lights like this. 
I always buy the star ones because they're very white company esque. But I seen these and I just thought, oh, for one fifty, I'm definitely getting them. Why is it you buy lights and you can never get the things back in? Anyway, the next ones that I bought were these have got batteries included as well. Twenty warm white naked wire lights, so they're like the little micro lights. These were supposed to be two pound, and I got them for one pound. I actually should have picked more of these up because Christmas time, I'm always looking for little micro lights. So I may actually go back to Wilco if they've got any in, and get some more of these just to pop away for Christmas. Because again, I have got the glass Christmas tree from the range, and they would look nice with lights in as well. So little micro light for one pound absolute bargain okay so then i picked up some 50 white lights now these have got batteries included it says eight effects so i think it's got that function on where you can change them these were originally five pound and i got them for two pound fifty and i just thought at christmas you're always looking for lights and you want them around your window or things like that and you're always looking and i just thought they're always handy to have in so yeah they are so they're on the clear wire and you get 50 bulbs and the batteries are included they're in the box but it's got one of them sequence things on so it says combination in wave slow go slow go slow glow chasing flashing slow fade Twinkle, flash, and steady on. But £2.50, and I just thought I normally put some lights above my garland, above my bed at Christmas. They do have warm lights on them, but I actually like white lights, so I could maybe just put them in the um, eucalyptus garland that I have on my bed. So overall, I don't think I've done too bad. That is everything that I picked up. It is only a short video. I just wanted to get this out of the way. Um, I just picked a few bits from different places and I just thought I'd show you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget if you do like my content to subscribe. If you are new and you've not seen any of my autumn content that I've been bringing, then head on over to previous videos and take a look. You won't be disappointed there's some uh, good stuff in there if i do say so myself i am now going to tidy this bedroom and then gonna go into that cupboard and maybe film my autumn collection for you so until next time guys enjoy the day whatever it is you're doing and i'll see you in my next one bye guys